Hey, what's up everybody? It is Randy. Thanks for joining me today on the Black Orchid Project. I hope you are all well. Today I come to you with a true rescue here. This plant was exposed to sun and is not doing well. So um, let's get into this. All right, so if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you can be notified of new content. Now, um, this, let's get right into the problem here. This plant came to me, I just got it from a neighbor that left it out in the sun for about an hour. Now, it wasn't outside for an hour, it was just in direct sun for what she anticipates was about an hour, or I'm sorry, estimates for was about an hour. And um, so she saw my video about putting her plants outside and we've been having a lot of rain around here and it's just been nice to have your plants outside getting some fresh air and some of the mist from the natural rain and things like that. And it is really, really good for your plants. However, in that video, I talked about how you have to be very diligent in watching your plant and she, it, I mean, literally, we had forecasts of overcast all day and rain stopped, clouds burned off, and she was actually, this was actually on her covered patio, and she didn't think it was going to get any sun. And before she knew it, she looked up and there was direct sun outside. Sorry. Um, there was direct sun on her patio, and so she went outside and she saw it and of course it didn't look like this immediately it literally looks just kind of like it's like if you was out in the sun and you started to get tired and drained it was just kind of limp and soft but she you know she figured it, she had caught it in time because literally she, it had not been that long and so um, as the days went on it started to get worse and worse and first thing i told her was to not not do anything she contacted me and i said don't do anything now this literally fell off probably five minutes ago when I was putting this up here to shoot this video. And so it's starting to drop leaves and it is looking really, really bad. However, there's still some really good roots here, obviously. So the plant is still alive and there's a little bit of hope. And I'm going to get a nice close up here, but there is a small leaf that was growing out these top crown the top crown here if this leaf survives i believe this plant will survive and now the the bigger thing is aesthetically it's not going to be pretty for probably a year or two because all of these leaves are going to have to fall off and they'll probably fall from the bottom um, these may hang on and they're going to have to grow up and we're going to need about three or four sets of leaves so this will be strictly a grow project no bloom you want this to grow 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 and if we can get two to three leaves out of here over the next you know six months or a year we'll be fine but that is really has a lot to do if this leaf if this leaf goes it's pretty much a done deal so um, i am going to keep it and just try to see if i can nurture it back to health um, now, the first thing I'm going to do is nothing. I am not going to do anything to this plant. I'm not going to feed it um, or put it out in the sun or put it in the windowsill. I'm actually going to get this out of direct sun and just let it kind of be for a minute. It was already still moist, like there's still moisture in here. So that's how I know, like it wasn't in the sun frying for a long period of time. So um, if for some reason, just letting it be doesn't work and it doesn't look like I'm going to be able, it's going to recover, or at least start to recover. I'm going to try the black tea method. And what that is, is basically taking a little bit of black tea, very, very diluted, about one tenth dilution of black tea and just putting it in there, letting it sit for about um, for hours, actually, and then just taking it out and letting it dry and then putting it back in there. And you just repeat that day after day after day. Um, in hopes that those tannins and the acidity and things will kick off the plant and cause it to grow. So, yeah, that is it. And I just wanted to bring this you know, bring this to you just on the um, tail of doing that video and talking about how I lost my some of my favorite plants to this. I thought it was just ironic that this happened. And now I can bring you a video and show you what this looks like and 
in hopes that we can save it. So again, um, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified if you want to keep up with this and, you know, head on over to the Black Orchid Project channel because I'll do, be doing probably more like post updates in the community section. I'll be doing more post updates on how this plant is doing. So um, yeah, that's it. And uh, that's all I got for you today. Uh, please don't do this to your plant. As always, thanks for hanging out with me here. Be safe. More importantly, be kind. Never give up on them. And until next time, peace.